Pluralizing words in Potawatomi. In Potawatomi, you have animate nouns and inanimate nouns. It depends if the word is animate or inanimate as to how you pluralize the word. Animate words are those which are living, spiritual, or in motion. One thing to keep in mind is certain objects we might not perceive as animate in English are animate in Potawatomi. Some words are pretty easy, but others have to just be memorized. Food is one area which can be kind of confusing. Certain foods are animate, while others are inanimate. Inanimate words are usually pretty easy to recognize. Most man-made objects, unless spiritual, are inanimate. Most inanimate objects will end with gen or when. Pluralizing animate words. To pluralize most animate words, you add a k if the word ends in a vowel or an ek. Some speakers will also use yek, yuck, which may be a little older form for pluralizing. On certain words, it tends to be favored over the ek. If a word ends in k, it will often take on an ok instead of an ek for the plural. Also, a few words take on weak for the plural. There are not a lot like this, but words like nene, man, becomes nun weak, men, and bishukke, cow, becomes bishuk weak, cows. Some animate words. Mko, bear, mkok, bears. Nemosh, dog, nemosh. Nemoshuk, dogs, nemoshuk. Singo, squirrel, singo. Singoyuk, squirrels, singoyuk. Kwe, woman, kwe. Quek, women, quek. Pawagan, pipe. Pawagan, Pawaganuk, pipes, Pawaganuk, Miguin, feather, Miguin, Miguinuk, feathers, Miguinuk, Dewagon, drum, Dewagon, Dewagonuk, drums, Dewagonuk, Penolje, child, Penolje, Penoljeuk, children, Penoljeuk, Nene, man, nunweek, men, nunweek. Some more animate words. Kajo, cat, kajo. Kajo yuk, cats, kajo yuk. Ndaman, corn, ndaman. Ndamanuk, corn, more than one. Ndamanuk. Nukka, goose, nukka. Nukkak, Geese, nakak, mtuk, tree, mtuk, mtukok, trees, mtukok, nadwe, rattlesnake, nadwe, nadwuk, rattlesnakes, nadwuk, kojes, bean, kojes, kojesuk, beans, kojesuk, kano, eagle, kano, Kanok eagles, kanok, muck beaver, muck, makok beavers, makok, zinba ribbon, zinba, zinbayuk, more than one ribbon, zinbayuk. Pluralizing inanimate words. To pluralize most inanimate nouns, you add an n if the word ends in a vowel or an en. Some speakers will also use yen, which may be a little older form for pluralizing. On certain words, it tends to be favored over en. Uh, if the word ends in a k, it will often take a wen instead of an en. For example, mkuk is a box, mkukwin, boxes. Some inanimate words, dopwin, dopwinen, dopwin, dopwinen, tables. Dopwinen. Taswin, cabinet, Taswin. Taswinen, cabinets, Taswinen. Jiptabwin, chair, Jiptabwin. Jiptabwinen, Jiptabwinen, chairs, Jiptabwinen. Notakchigan, radio, Notakchigan. Notakchiganen, Notakchiganen, radios. Biwabkos, Phone, Biwabkos, Biwabkosen, phones, Biwabkosen, 
מקום קקוס, a fridge, מקום קקוס, מקום קקוסן, fridges, מקום קקוסן, וסקון נדו, flower, וסקון נדו, וסקון נדויין, flowers, וסקון נדויין, מישקוס, grass, מישקוס, מישקוסן, grass, plural, מישקוסן, מין, blueberry, מין, מינן, blueberries, מינן, some more inanimate words, נביאגן, a pen, נביאגן, נביאגנן, pens, נביאגנן, ג'ימאן, קנו, ג'ימאן, ג'ימאנן, קנוס, ג'ימאנן, ויגוואם, הום, ויגוואם, ויגוואמן, הומס, ויגוואמן, קומאן, נייף, קומאן, קומאנן, נייבס, קומאנן, בדק ג'יגן, פורק, בדק ג'יגן, בדק ג'יגנן, פורקס, בדק ג'יגנן, גמסאגן, אקס, גמסאגן, גמסאגנן, אקסס, גמסאגנן, מקזנן, שו, מקזנן, אפשימי, מקזן, שו, מקזן, מקזנן, שוז, מקזנן, נפקוואגן, נקלס, נפקוואגן, נפקוואגנן, נקלסס, נפקוואגנן. Some words that just aren't pluralized, ביש, ביש, בופ, סופ, בופ, סמה, טבקו, סמה. Obviously with water, you could, you could pluralize it if you said like five cups of water, but there you're actually pluralizing the cups. Uh, or five bowls of soup, or so many bags of tobacco, but you can't really quantify like the liquid itself. You can't be like, by, you know, there's no way visually to look at it and say that's, I mean, yeah, I know in English you could say, oh, that's about a gallon or something, but the part of me, we just don't do that. It's just, it's just, it is, you know, it's water or it's soup. You're not quantifying how much it is, or it's tobacco. You can't really count out the, the number of leaves and whatnot. It's, it just, you know, it's crumbled up and whatnot. If you really want to quantify it, you can just say jash, lots, jash. One thing to remember is if you see an EK or a K on an object that is usually inanimate, it means one of two things. Usually this will mean that it's locative, which means it's saying that something is at, on, or near something. Although a speaker can make uh, an object animate, perhaps in a story. So if a story like where a mirror suddenly comes to life, it would be dealt with as animate. A summary. For animate nouns, use K or EK or YEK. Much more rare are OK or WIK, weak, so oak or weak. For inanimate nouns, use EN or YEN, yin. Also, rarely you'll have WEN. Also, keep in mind that some objects, like ZENBA, ribbon, are just animate. These objects you'll have to just memorize. Also, remember most inanimate nouns will end in GEN or WEN, which will help indicate that they're inanimate. And that's it. Eel.